sneaking eggs back today. Today we're having a first look at the Zubuntu 11.04 Beta 1. That's just a quick short look round for you. And I really like it. It comes with XFCE 4.8. It's all been nice and redone. It looks really super. So there's a menu up there for the shutdown. Got my two workspaces. Date and time. Recording software, of course. My Ethernet. My sound. Now, sound works out of the box. Fantastic. At last. What I've been wanting for Zubuntu for a very, very long time. G Music Browser is now their main music player. Nice. We've got our mail icon there as well. Go to the left hand side. We'll click on the menu. All nicely set out, really nice. I like the fonts, lovely. Settings, got your settings manager, input method, etc. etc. All you would find in XFC, but not too much. Accessories, all the usual there as well. Catfish, file manager, Oras, XF Burn. Under games, just the basic five games. That's enough for me for the time being. Gimpy is standard, of course, and simple scan is also there. Internet, you get Firefox as your web browser. Pigeon, remote desktop viewer. Thunderbird, transmission and X chat, of course. Now, under a multimedia, of course, I put the desktop recorder already on for you. And G Music Browser, let's have a quick look at this. Now, it's not a recorder, it's just a player, so you're going to, have to rip them some other way, of course, all your music. But that's alright, because most of your stuff would now be in digital format, won't it? So that won't make a blind bit of difference. Now, under settings, you do get a nice little equalizer. I'll just click on it and show you. You actually get an equaliser with this. Nice. Another nice little touch. I mean, some of you may want Rhythm Box. If so, go and install it yourself. It's okay, isn't it, really? Okie dokie. Back to the menu one more time here. And we're going into multimedia again. Get Mixer and Parole as your standard DVD player or AVI file player or whatever be my play file. You know? VLC I've put on myself because I didn't know that Parole played OG files. Nice. Abbey Word and Genomeric, all your standard office stuff here. So I'll open Abbey Word up for you. Here we go. Nice. It's the most current version as well. I'll make it nice and big for you. Get into help. About Abbey Word 2.8.6. Nice. It does what it says on the old tin. That's what we like to see, isn't it? Okay, that's that bit out of the way. We go down a bit further. So we've done office. So get Orage in there, the calendar and time. Now under system, I'll put my additional drives in because I've got an NVIDIA card here. Works super fine for me. Okie dokie. Of course, you get the startup disk creator. Synaptic is all there. Works nice. Task manager, also very nice. There you go. There it's out. Doing now, look. That's nice, isn't it? Works superb. I like it. Although I do like HTOP as well, so I might put HTOP on as well. This is on the old quad core test machine. Full install as you would normally do. So scroll down a bit more. You also get update manager and users and groups and time and date. All the usual you're used to. So there's not too much difference here really. Is there? On, the, on the here you get home, file system and waste basket on the desktop. And you'll get a bit of a docky bar down the bottom. So you get the minimize version. You get web browser. You get your mail reader which is Thunderbird. A settings manager. For graphical settings of course. So we'll have a little play with this. So you get accessibility and appearance. So I'll click on appearance. I'll just go through a few of you. So we're using Greybird at the moment. So if we change to Bluebird, it goes blue, of course. Go to Albatross, it goes Albatrossy. It looks black to me, but hey, what do I know? Get Clue looks as well, which is the old style. You also get high contrast and lots of other bits and bobs as well. But you get lots and lots of things to play with here, which I really like. You get the old style XFC2, look, nice white one. 4.2, it changed a little bit, didn't it? Not too much, only a little bit. But yeah, you can play with all these to your heart's content and download more if you so wish to. Yeah, so we'll go back to Greybird. That's enough of that. So yeah, I like that. So we're going to do set the manager again. Have a bit more of a look around. Get your calendar, your desktop so you can play around with the behaviour, the icons and stuff. Your display, of course. I'll open it up. That's my default settings for my monitor. So that's nice. All works nice out of the box. I'm really liking this version of Ubuntu, actually. When I've done the alpha, it was the most stable of all of the Ubuntu offshoots. And it's just proven my point that I like XFCE and it's come on a long way. Especially now we've got to 4.8. So you know, you've got the Windows Manager stuff there, and you've got your workspaces, so what I'll do, I'll just add a couple more. So I'll click once, and I'll click another time, I think. So I've got four workspaces now. That's about nice, isn't it? You can have as many as you like, by the way, as you do know. So there they are up there, all four of them. Nicey, 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 nicey. Back to the Settings Manager again. One more, the Windows Manager tweaks you can use as well. There's plenty of stuff in there for you to play with to make it your own distro, basically, how you want it to look. You get the Ubuntu Software Center, of course, all standard now. Nice big look. 
Look at their featured stuff there. And what's news? So Pingus, Frets on Fire. Cheese I use for my webcam, as you know. Well, I do use it, which is not too often. And then above we've got some lots of what's new. Volleyball. Ah, I pay one. Would I want to pay $3 for it? Not for that sort of game, I don't think so, really. A bit too much money for me. I'll buy a real game for that, you know? Well, not really, but... You can put some more made and get a decent game like Oil Rush. Yes, Oil Rush. Last Exit is a free one. It's an audio player for Last FM. I don't know if any of you use Last FM. I don't use it for quite a while myself, but hey, who cares? But yeah, plenty there for you to play with. If you've used Ubuntu before, you know how it all works. All I'm doing here is just giving you a quick overview of what the Zubuntu distro looks like. Because I like it. Everybody else is going to do Zubuntu and Ubuntu and whatever. I might do the LXD when it's Ubuntu, I don't know yet. I'll see how I feel. So anyway, we'll pop over to the old tube, I think, the old YouTube, and see how it all renders and comes out. It should be all nicely. There we go. Search engine works nice. Let's go over to the YouTube. We'll click OK there, because that's where I am. We'll put in here, or I think we'll put in, I know what, we'll put me in. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to type my own name in, if I remember how to type that is. Now, bear in mind, now all the browsers now normally come with Flash, unless it's Ice Cat or something like that, like the real GNU ones, they will not come with Flash, which is a bit of a bummer, but hey. So, put my name in. Now, where should we go from here? We'll play one of these videos just to make sure that it all works. So I'll quickly have a quick drink. Ribena, by the way. Yeah, all works nicely. The video plays nice. Superb. I'll make it a bit wider for you. Yeah, that all works. Nothing crashes. And that's what we like to see, isn't it? Nice and stable. And that's what I like Zubuntu now, especially in this version. When I tried all the others, it just wasn't stable enough. The others wasn't. Although Zubuntu played very nice in alpha stage for me all the time, which I really liked. Now it's got the most current version of Thunderbird really for your mail client, so that's nice as well. So we all like that, don't we? Do you use Thunderbird or do you use Empathy? What do you use for your mail client? All depends what you want, unless you use Gmail or something like that. Got all the add-ons there, then your docky bar. Oh, I've got Gimpy down there, so what I'll do, I'll open up Gimp just to show you it all works, it's all in real time, I've not cut the video or nothing like that. So yeah, remember the first time you use Gimp, it is slower. Once you've used it once, it's a bit quicker. So yeah, nice. Gimby comes up. Superb. And that's basically all we can show you, really. Now I'm going to wait until it's fully released and I'll do a proper one. But I'm just showing you now what it looks like and everything else. I'm, oh yeah, I've changed the picture just to show you. I've got some nice new pictures in here and some of the old ones. So that one I do for me. Nice and bright. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Yeah, so if you don't want Ubuntu or Kubuntu, give Zubuntu a go. It is really nice to use, nice and simplistic, and fast, a lot faster. Oh yes, sneaky Linux going out. I sees you later.